Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this episode, I'm going to share with you guys the, dollar, the epic tash iron that comes from Walmart. And I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree phone applicator pad here. And uh, it's what I made. But um, the reason for this product, talking about this product, is that this product I find lasts a very long time. Even through the rain and everything else. And, um, just a very doable product. <coughs> I got, excuse me. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm shake this up a little bit. I talked about it before. Spritz it on a tie. It's one of the longest lasting products on the market. Something about a pickup truck here. Alright, you guys pretty much familiar with this one. Alright. So, uh, let's, let's shoot it up there. Doesn't spray out that way, up, but it lasts a very long time. See here, guys. Get it from Walmart. Okay, how I use it. I spray it out, then I rub it in. Because you got to shake it up really well. Because it says here, ultimate shine with ultimate control and coverage, water resistance for an intense black shine. All right, pro tie shine, and it's telling you on the back for pro results. Start with clean, dry tires to activate the shine. Shake the bottle well. Spray this thin, even coat by holding the bottle four to six inches away from the tire. For a rich high gloss shine, let the product dry for five minutes. Okay, you got to shake it up really well. Here. Okay. Okay. You ain't really got to let it sit that long, though. Not for what I'm doing. Because it doesn't spray that evenly. So you're going to have to wipe it in anyway. And it's a homemade applicator that I made right from Dollar Tree. And spread it in. Okay. This stuff is very doable, man. Now, depending on how much shine you want, how wet do you want it, you know, you can spray it twice. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to hit it twice. This stuff is an amazing product, guys. It lasts right through the rain. Some of you guys like that. It's kind of dry to the touch after you rub it in there. It's not that greasy or nothing. All right. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit it again. Go. Right. Oh, and that's a second coat, and that's all you need. Really, one coat will do it. You know. To be honest, you can get away with just one coat of this product on your tires. You don't really have to go three, four, five. Three, four coats and all that stuff. One good coat will do it. No more than two, anyway. I'll get the job done for you guys. All right. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to... I let that penetrate in there for like four, five minutes. Okay. Okay, 
So I'm going to do my spread that in. And I'm going to back off of it. Uh, we're going to see what it looks like. Here we go. Let's get you more gloss if you go with a second coat. Hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. I need to paint back up in here. All in the wheel wheels. Get some of that 2K paint. Paint all that black and stuff. Make it look like it's brand new up in there. I'm going to finish painting the body of this truck too. Next. That's the next thing we're going to do. I'm going to finish painting my truck blue here. Get tired of being black. I don't want no more black. Black stay too dirty anyway. I really all this blue stands out more to me. I like that blue color. That blue got more pop, more spunk to it. Actually make the truck stand out more being blue. See what it look like? That blue is off the chain. See how pretty that blue is? That black, that black fade too bad. It show too many swirl marks too when it's glossy. So I don't want no more black. Black stay nasty all the time too, so I really go with the blue. So yeah, man, there you have it, man. I just want to share that with y'all. Um, Eagle One Epitaph Shine. It's a very durable tie shine. And you still can get it from Walmart. Anyway, guys, till next time, man. I'm going to hit y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.